So I go in to the hospital front doors, walk up to the first office that I see. Mm -hmm. There's two guys sitting behind the counter and I just start, you know, listing off symptoms, right? I'm like cramping. You don't even say hello. You just walk up, you're just like cramps, right. you know, cotton pain. mouth, yeah. like <laughs> can't concentrate, okay. shit like that. Realize this is not a nurse. This is not a doctor that I am listing these symptoms off to. This is a, a police officer oh. in uniform <laughs> at the security desk. Okay. <laughs> and he goes, emergency room. <laughs> What is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? It's your boy, Goblin, and today I am very excited to be here with episode zero of the Gobcast. We're out here in LA right now where the only thing higher than our spirits are the studio rent prices, and we're filming a banger today. This is something that's been in the works for a long time, and I'm really excited to bring it to you guys. Seriously, with the rent prices we're paying for this studio, I could buy a dragon's hoard of munchies, but we're not here to talk about economics. We're here to talk about degeneronics. That doesn't make sense, does it? <laughs> Leave that in, that's perfect. Now, if you're expecting a cautionary tale any at any point in this podcast, you're probably not gonna find it because we're not here to give those. What we are here to give is degenerate tales. And I brought out one of my best friends and one of my longtime degenerate affiliates, Kyle, for the episode today. How you doing? My homie Kyle here is all the way in from Chicago. He flew out and not just for this, but you know, kind of just for this, you know, this is a very special moment we have here. You guys that have been watching my videos for a long time may know Kyle as Kevin from my stories. Now that might ring a bell for a lot of you guys and you guys know that we're in for a banger today. Now, we go way back through high school, you know, we, we met each other in sophomore year of high school, and we were going crazy, you know, we were doing Adderall together, and we did Adderall all the way up to cook and crack together, mm -hmm. you know, and this guy has probably taken more trips than an elf into a clumsy, uh, clumsy elf into a forest, you know, <laughs> this guy is one of the only people that I know that is, I can confidently say, has taken more acid than me. So this is gonna be a, a banger episode. This is gonna be great. And what better way to bring in a banger episode than to talk about our good friends at Bay Smokes. Our friends at Bay Smokes have hooked us up with all the fire today, as you can see, and we're gonna be smoking on it. Now, Bay Smokes offers ounces all the way from $75 up to $250. So all of you guys watching with any budget can get your hands on some gas. Bay Smokes has got it all. And they now offer a monthly subscription box. Listen, screw all the other subscription boxes sending you shitty china glass or sending you shitty pre-made meals how about just getting some goddamn weed to your door that's the spirit and you can do that with bay smokes check them out in the comment section below kyle let's do a fucking banger episode today let's get oh it. baby this is gonna be great so buckle up pour yourself an alcoholic beverage or roll a big fat joint of some pine park and get ready to giggle, chortle, maybe even snort. What the hell's a chortle? I don't know. I just learned five minutes ago. It's in the <laughs> script, but only with laughter. I promise. You know, you're not going to snort anything else, at least that I know of. Don't tell me about it. This is the Gobcast, and we're about to take you on a journey of jokes, jests, and everything in between. So buckle up and let's get into it. Now, Kyle, I think the people need to get to know you a little bit. You know, the audience out there, they don't know you quite like I do. So tell the world a little bit about you, you know, what, what you like to do. What do you do for work? You know, what kind of weed you smoking nowadays? Let them know. OK. Um, all right. What do I do for work? I manage a movie theater right now. Yeah. Um, most. Yeah. Manage a movie theater. Um, what are the other questions? Sorry, I'm a little stoned already. <laughs> that bong rip before we started yeah, is yeah, hitting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen, over here at the Gobcast, we pregame. You know, we, we don't do. just come we in. Do. And we take it seriously. Yes, and we, we took that pregame serious as hell. We did. Uh, you know, what else do you like to do in your free time? You know, tell them a little bit about how your days go. Uh, we're mostly, mostly just gaming and smoking yep. uh, for the most part. Yep. Yeah. We play a lot of TFT. What kind of weed are we smoking? We're smoking gas. We're always smoking gas. <laughs> I <laughs> love that answer. I love that answer. Yes, sir. We are always smoking gas. You know, 
you in particular, you play a lot of games, but I feel like our, our tasting games are very different. You know, yeah, you, yeah. you play like two games and you play them like very obsessively. Right. And we I feel play like them differently. Yes. Right. I play like 20 games. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I play them like an hour at a time. Right. So it's very different. But Whereas I kind of play one or two games, yes. but I play them. Yes. You know, pretty, pretty much exclusively. But um, we didn't actually meet through gaming. You know, no. we, we did not meet through gaming. We met in a very different way. Do you remember how we met? Because I remember it very well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember we had gym class together. Uh-huh. And we had the lockers right next to each other. Uh-huh. And I don't specifically remember, like, what day it was. But I remember at some point, like, we each had something to benefit each other. We did. You had a vape. Uh-huh. And I did not. Uh-huh. And I had Adderall. And you did not. And you noticed that I was snorting Adderall out of my locker before I was going into the gym class. And you wanted some of that action uh-huh. and offered me your vape. I did. And I was like, wow, a fucking a little Nick buzz on top of the Adderall would be amazing. And from then it was it was set in stone. Yeah. You know, it was set yeah. in stone. Yeah. I mean, we, we used to go what? It was like every day we would just go real Adderall. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I remember we would even do it like. Uh, cause I think we each had like two lunch periods or mm-hmm. something like that. Yep. And yep. we would just go sit at the lunch table in the cafeteria at school and just rail Adderall. Well, I don't think I was ever supposed to have a second lunch period. I think I just gave myself like a second lunch period, mm. you know, like, yeah. Yeah, once yeah. the afternoon came around, I was like, fuck it. We're just going to go vibe. Yeah. You know? Um, but yeah, I mean, we, I remember we would, we would snort Adderall and we'd go into the gym class and we had like the weight room. And right. you would go in there and actually lift. And then me and Isaiah yeah. would just like walk around and fuck around. Yeah, I remember. I think Ivan was in that class too. Yes, yeah. dude. You know, did you pass that class? Oh, yeah. Oh, you, yeah. you probably got a damn good grade, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, you yeah, yeah. No, I, I definitely, I got a probably, that was my best grade by far. You know, yeah. y- you know what grade I ended up with in that class? Do you What'd remember? You get? I got a 30%. You got a 30%? I got a 30%. D- I think I got like a 98. I failed but by like a, like a <laughs> large margin, you know, like there was no saving that. Like I remember I showed up for the gym final and I, like, you remember when they make everyone like lay down, like in the gym uh-huh, separate and fucking uh-huh. take the final. I was like going to my spot and he came up, I don't remember dude's name, the, you know, old white dude with the like bald as fuck. Um, he came up and he told me, he was like, listen, there's no point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, even if you pass it with flying colors, it's not enough. <laughs> and I was like, all right, I just circled A for like everything and just fucking that was that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, you know, we did Adderall together. But we did a whole lot of other things in between together. And one reason Pretty that I everything. wanted to bring you out for this is because we cooked crack together. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And that was that was quite the day. And our other friend that was there for that is unfortunately no longer here with us. Yeah. So you are like a like a true crack soldier. You're tried and true, you know? How do you feel like how do you remember that experience? Do you want to tell him the story? Ooh, yeah, I mean, I guess so we were uh driving around after school one day, right? And uh I think I remember it being a Tuesday afternoon. Yes. Tuesday was Crack Tuesday. It was Crack yep. Tuesday. We, we made it a holiday. It now. We did. Yeah. Yep. Um, but yeah, I remember we had pretty much, I mean, because Ashton was there and Ashton mm-hmm. was just the plug. He yes. had everything. Yes. And we were just bored of everything. We didn't have any one particular addiction at any given time, really. It was just a broad. Yes. Like, we, we were, were just, poly addicts. We just liked to get fucked up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I remember we had like, I think some cocaine and we were just, we were bored of doing cocaine. So we were like, well, we could cook it into crack, like half jokingly, you know? Mm-hmm. And then we thought about it. And we really Next did Next thing you know, we're in the kitchen <laughs> looking up crack recipes on YouTube and shit. <laughs> yeah. I, I, you know, that's like a peak level of like drug addiction, I feel like. Like when you have cocaine and you're like, that's pretty boring. Yeah. Like that's, yeah. Yeah. That's some next level shit. And I feel like we were only really like that when we were younger. Oh, yeah. How did we like grow out of that? Like, how did you grow out of that at least? Uh, um, honestly, just growing up, you know, just in, you can't, it's really hard to get up for work in the morning if you're yeah. out doing, you know, smoking crack the exactly. night before. <laughs> you can't be doing that. People yeah. are going to think you just like, you know, died and resurrected yourself the yep. day before or something. So, yeah. Um, 
Yeah, so I guess I just kind of stopped because, you know, I had to, you know, I got bills to pay and shit. Yep. So I, you know, got to work. Can't be. Life came at you. Life came yeah, at you. Yeah, I so guess. So back to the crack story. So we were driving around and we had decided like we're fucking bored. I remember, I think we had gone back to my mom's house and we mm -hmm. were chilling there. And that's when we had decided like this cocaine is boring. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. damn, this this is no fun. So then do you, because this is, this is my favorite part of the whole thing. Do you remember how we like, like determined the method? Do you remember how we learned how to cook crack? We Googled it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We Googled I, it and we read on several forums. I think it was, you know, it was I don't like want to get into the nitty shit. and gritty because I don't want to really encourage it. But yep. I, yep. I remember one specific issue is we couldn't decide what our liquid was going to be. We couldn't decide between water or whiskey or vodka or just Sprite, you know? God, and, bro, imagine uh, cooking whiskey crack. Right, like I Jack think Daniels we had, yeah, right. So, you know, we had no idea what we were gonna do. Um, mm. I think we ended up just picking one and going with it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it was worked out, you know? Yeah. Um, I remember shortly after we, you know, immediately after we, you know, we cooked it, we let it, you know, kind of get ready for use. Yep, we put um, it in the freezer. I remember that part. Yeah, I didn't yeah. want to get into the specifics of it, but yeah. yeah. Well, whatever, <laughs> bro. I mean, we're not giving a step-by-step, -step, you know? Right, I okay. mean, the freezer's the last step, bro, you know? I mean, figure out the rest. Yeah. So we know? were letting it cool off, you know? Yep. And uh, I think Jason came over. Mm, um, yes, Jason came over so to buy acid. Soon as soon as you know the crack was cooled off, we smoked it immediately. Uh, went crazy for like thirty seconds or whatever. I ended up taking acid with Jason. Yeah, you dropped acid after that. I did not yeah. drop acid. I yeah. was like, no, I don't. Yeah. I don't think I want. So you have arguably a, a far crazier crack story than I do, because you ended up in the hospital that night. Yeah, you remember like that? I'm yeah, so, but it wasn't anything. Before serious. we get to that part, though, because we're getting a little a little ahead of the story, when we had finally finished cooking it and everything, and you took that first hit, how did you feel? Like, do you remember the the like feeling it gave you? It felt exactly like I imagined crack would feel like. You know, it really, was a, it was a rush. It was short, and I I was surprised by how short the uh the high was it, it felt like that went away very it was quickly. instant wasn't it it, it was, was like two it was like instant tops. it yeah. lasted two minutes and it was over um but yeah and granted we probably didn't cook very good crack no we probably we probably some very it was probably some crack. mid yeah it was probably some mid but, i think mid might be generous you but know? <laughs> you know i mean i think that's how crack is crack i mean no, there's an art to it bro there's an art to cook and crack for sure, dude. Yeah. You gotta have like anyone watching this, if any of you guys know like the crack plug and we can get them on as a guest so we can learn the art, tap me in, dude. <laughs> tap me in. We need that. But um, no, I, I feel like there's an art to it. There's like there's gotta be levels to the crack shit, right? Mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know? We just didn't have the art on lock. So you smoked it, you know, you felt that kind of instant rush. Would you say that for you it was like it was good? Like, did you enjoy it or no? Uh, yeah, yeah, I enjoyed it. I just remember him being like super hype, you know? Yeah. Uh, I think I remember when we were, we ended up going to Little Caesars right when we were like leaving your place. Mm -hmm. We ran into like Alex. Uh, yep, yep, uh, yep, yep. Maybe bleep the last yeah, name. Bleep yeah, the last name. Yeah, yeah, um, just Alex, that. just first names. Yeah. We um, ran into Alex. Yeah, I, dude, I remember that actually because he was, we were like, we just smoked crack and he right. like thought we were fucking around. Like yep, he was but like, we what? were not. Like, what are you? <laughs> yeah. 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 And we, dude, listen, let me tell you guys all watching this right now. When we were younger, we were a different breed. Like now I feel like we're pretty level headed, like adults, you know, we like have jobs, we do our stuff. But when we were younger, we would just like, do the dumbest shit possible. Do not follow in our footsteps, you know? Like we smoked crack and then just got in the car, you know? Like you probably shouldn't do that. Yeah. No, not probably, yeah. definitely. Definitely should Should do not that. do yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> and we never would now. You no, know? never, bro, we never, idiots. never. I would never even consider something like that now, you know? But when you're younger, you don't think like consequence, you right. know? Hence why we, we cooked and smoked crack mm -hmm. in my mom's mm -hmm. kitchen, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So yeah. after we, we dipped out, you know, Jason came over, I remember um, Ashton sold him like a 10 strip or some shit, something like that. Mm -hmm. We dipped out. I don't remember when you dropped the acid. Do you remember? Pretty much right after that. 
Um, like immediately? Yeah, because I think Jason was like kind of afraid to take, like he, I think he didn't want to trip by himself. Yeah, but I then remember. Yeah, he ended up going he went home. home. Yeah, he went home and tripped by himself anyways, anyways and he so ate it like didn't four matter. tabs and tweaked. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. Um, because he he hit me up like a couple days later and he was like, "Yeah, I just got out of the hospital." You know, they yeah. in like the psych ward. <laughs> I re- yeah, I remember uh, <laughs> when we went to Little Caesars, we ran into uh, uh, Salma from you know gym class. Yep, yep. And uh, she used to be the plug. She bro. would hook it up with the pizzas, but I remember she was oh. just like, "Kyle, your veins are coming out of your forehead." Yes, right I, now. I remember. Like, I remember that. Yeah. Um, so since you dropped right after you smoked crack, would you say that you maybe had like a even for a brief moment? a cross effect? Like, like, did you have a crack acid trip at any point or like, no, Um, did you feel any different? I would say probably not because of how long it takes acid to kick in and how short, yeah, like the duration of a a crack high is. But like the the afterglow or anything didn't affect your trip at all? Um, well, I, I did, I was, and admittedly I should have been drinking way more water that night. Hydration is key. Period. But I got really dehydrated and I started getting like cramps in my hands and my feet and my legs. And it was just getting absolutely unbearable. So that's why I did end up going to the hospital just out of cramps. Um, So yeah, I did. That was, that's kind of a funny story in itself, really. Uh, (laughs) Yeah. tell, Tell us about that one. Well, Obviously, I didn't want to go tell my dad that I just smoked crack and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> you know, um, so I tell him I've got these bad cramps and shit mm. like that. He's like, well, you know, hospital's expensive. First, let's try maybe we massage out the cramps or whatever. Yep. Could not massage out the cramps. So he's <laughs> yeah. like, all right, fuck it. Let's go to the hospital. We get there. It's raining. I'm in a lot of pain. So he's like, you know what, let me just drop you off at the front door. You can check yourself in <laughs> and I'll go park the car. And this is while you're tripping. Too. Mind, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm tripping balls now at this point. And I'm like, all right. So I go in to the hospital front doors, walk up to the first office that I see. Mm-hmm. There's two guys sitting behind the counter and I just start, you know, listing off symptoms right i'm like cramping you don't even say hello you just walk up you're just like cramps right. you know cotton pain. mouth yeah. like <laughs> can't concentrate okay Shit like that realize this is not a nurse this is not a doctor that i am listing these symptoms off to this is a a police officer oh. in uniform <laughs> at the security desk okay <laughs> and he goes emergency room <laughs> and i'm like emergency room <laughs> yeah, sounds good sounds good and i turn to go to the emergency room do the same shit at that counter but to a nurse this time um i remember my hands were cramping as i'm trying to list off my symptoms and i had to like massage my hand on the table right in front of the nurse and she's just like what are you doing <laughs> she probably felt and great the though. counter was granite and I'm tripping, so the granite's all, you know. Oh yeah, it probably looks like, like a galaxy almost, right, you know. Exactly. Yep. So um yeah, she basically just tells me to have a seat. Um, ended up chilling in the waiting room for a long time. Uh yeah, saw the doctor. The doctor's like, You're fine. And uh gave me a big uh pain pill. Yep. Um which was one of the biggest pills I've ever seen in my life. She hands it to me, turns around to get a glass of water for me, turns back around to give me the glass of water, and I've already killed the pill. <laughs> I, I don't We don't yeah. need that water no. shit. <laughs> I was a trained professional at that point in my yep. life, so. <laughs> yeah, you. I remember you used to just like fucking raw dog all the pills. Like right? you would never and drink water. The doctor water. was in disbelief because <laughs> this is the biggest fucking pill. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, but. Yeah, no, I got like a heating pad, pain pill, went home and uh, ended up taking a shower and then going to school. Was, <laughs> so yeah. you didn't even sleep? No, no, I didn't get to sleep that <laughs> night. Damn, yeah. coming to school, no sleep, coming down off acid, mm-hmm. smoked crack the day before, potentially still off the painkillers they gave you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that must have been a dog shit following day. Yeah? I just remember like my hair because I like 
my hair dried in just the oddest way because uh-huh. I was trying to lay down for a little bit before school, never ended up going to sleep because I yeah. only had like 20 minutes or whatever. But my hair dried in a really weird way. So <laughs> on top of like not sleeping for forever, mm-hmm. being on like the craziest hangover of my life, my hair is looking bananas. <laughs> and I just remember my English teacher that morning looked at me and she's just looked at me like, what the fuck? happened (laughs) (laughs) you have a rough night kyle yeah you need to go nap in the office (laughs) so well you're a trooper for for staying up and going to school the following day and you know the Mm. the acid part kind of segues us into the next point i want to bring up uh because you used to trip a lot you used to take a lot of acid um you kind of in a way you were like my trip sitter for my first trip i remember that for me and jason yeah um and you and Ashton were kind of like my introduction to acid. Um, so A, how did you get started with taking acid? And B, after that, what was the most acid you've ever taken? Oh, okay. Um, all right, well, uh, how did I get started with acid? Mm-hmm. Um, I started out, no, I don't want to... I don't want to make marijuana seem like a gateway drug or anything, but I started out <laughs> You can make whatever weed, right? seem like whatever. Oh, you know what? I'll backtrack. I started out drinking yep. freshman year of high school. Yep. I would drink. I was convinced that uh, smoking weed might make me retarded because I didn't know anybody <laughs> that smoked weed yet, like for a long time. I didn't yep. know any adults that did it, um, at least not openly. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, it was still those dare days where it was like, you know, You'd watch those commercials and, you know, someone would. Remember the one of like the kid who smoked weed and they were just like flat on the couch? Yes. Like, like right. deflated. So that's, <laughs> that's, that was my understanding of marijuana at the time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, then I, I did eventually get into marijuana as pretty much all my friends started doing it and none of them got really retarded. So <laughs> yeah, they all, their yeah. IQ level seemed to stay stable. Yeah. So, so. I was like, fuck it. <laughs> You know, we've all, let's do it. Yep. Uh, and uh, so I got into smoking weed for about a year. And then probably by sophomore year, um, I was, you know, looking to try something new. A lot of my friends had start started getting into psychedelics and everything. And I'd heard, you know, acid was the thing to try, you know. So yep. that, was, that was one of the next things I tried. Um, I don't even know if I tried anything other than weed before that. Really? That's yeah. a crazy escalation. I, I remember I, it was kind of a leap. Yeah, I kind of went from mm-hmm. weed just right into acid. Weed like is so, so like chill, you know, and I assume most people watching this have smoked weed, but there's probably a lot of people watching this that have never taken acid. And to yeah. understand how crazy of a jump that is, like yeah. from just getting stoned to suddenly you're tripping on acid. Right. Like I did a lot of drugs leading up to acid, you know, and I, I almost had to like mentally prepared a trip you know i couldn't imagine that escalation so how did your first trip go it was awesome uh yeah so i was with a couple friends um two friends i was mm-hmm. with two other dudes um this was back in Cary. Mm-hmm. um me and my we we had actually planned the trip to be me and four other guys um but me and uh, my buddy Dylan, we mm-hmm. ended up, we were just hanging out. We just picked up our acid. Um, it was actually, I, I took my first dab also uh, when I picked up the acid the first time. Yep. When I was picking up the acid, I got like four tabs for me and the boys. And the dealer nice. was like, yo, you ever taken a dab before? I was like, no. He's like, well, you're about to trip balls. Damn, you had the night of your so life, So you want to try a dab? And I was like, yeah, let's mm-hmm. do it. Blasted. Yep. Um, but yeah, so went and uh, went home for the night. Ended up, uh, you know, connecting with the boys the next day. Planned on tripping that night because uh, I think it was like Thanksgiving break or something at school. Mm-hmm. Um, but two of the guys we were supposed to trip with did not end up showing up. So me and my buddy Dylan, we were like, should we just, you know, yeah, you guys had four tabs yeah, all to yourselves. We were like, should we just trip? just the two of us. And then we'll, we'll, we only took our two tabs. We okay. saved the other two for, you know, the other guys. Respectable, yep. But yeah, that's how uh, my first trip started. We just, it was just me and Dylan. We went over to our buddy Colby's house. Uh, Colby did not trip. 
Kobe, mm-hmm. uh, Kobe had a girl over when we got there. So <laughs> you probably Kobe, scared the shit out of her. <laughs> no, nah, we just went to Kobe's room. He and the girl went to like, they were watching a movie in the living room mm. or whatever. Um, so he was hooking up with her. She ends up going home at the end of the night. He comes in his room and he's like, man, he looks at us. He's like, you guys are fucked up. I got to get fucked up. I can't be the only one sober here. So yeah. he grabs this stash of weed from his closet, starts smoking some weed. Then he starts tweaking about his dad. He's like, oh, my dad's going to you know, come in here and smell the weed and blah, blah, blah. So <laughs> he grabs two cans of Axe body spray. Oh, boy. And he starts spraying them out to the side like this. <laughs> and he starts running circles around the room. And me and my buddy Dylan are sitting on his bed. You're getting gassed out. <laughs> and we're watching this cloud just get, you know, higher and higher. And we're yep. like, oh, no. And yeah. So you we're like hide. coughing and like sticking our heads out the window and shit. And yeah. Um, so did the axe spray work, though? Did his dad ever come in? Uh, his dad never came in. Nice. Yeah. We had the window open all night long. It was cold as shit. Um <laughs> Dylan, uh, Dylan and Colby ended up cashing out at some point, but I didn't have a blanket or a pillow. They had given me a mattress that I was going to sleep on that night. I just ended up using that as my blanket. I just pulled because it was cold as hell. I had the next window level open. acid sleep. Yeah, so I pull, <laughs> I pull the whole mattress over my body and just lay on the ground. <laughs> That is next level acid rest, bro. That's some tripping shit. I feel like at like at the end of acid trips, I always end up knocked out in the weirdest fucking spots, yep. dude. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's fire. So you had a you had a great first trip, dude. Yeah, it was a good. That's time. lit. Yeah, that that kind of reminds me of um my first trip when you were you were trip sitting when mm-hmm. we were at Jason's house and he kept like. You're, oh my god, do you remember the meatloaf he pulled out, bro? Yep. yep. He had, he was like, dude. You remember that blunt we tried to smoke? The one that I, uh, which one? The one I threw up on? Yep. <laughs> you didn't throw up on it, really. You just hit it one time and then puked. Yeah, but yeah. I think I, I was like worried about contamination. Yeah. So I was yeah, just like, no, I should away. throw this away. But then I think Jason went and scavenged it from the side of his house. Did he? I'm pretty sure he oh, did. No. Yeah. Because he was like, well, my mom's going to find it. But then I think he smoked the weed. Oh, so, oh geez. <laughs> okay. Well, whatever, yeah. bro. You know, puke terps. Yeah. Um, but that first trip, dude, I just remember the meatloaf, bro. He's like, my mom made this meatloaf, bro. And he busted it out and he starts eating it. And I took a bite and I was like, damn, this is pretty good. You know, uh-huh, like, I don't know uh-huh. why. Because normally when I'm tripping, I don't really get hungry. But like that meatloaf was hitting. Bro. Yeah. I remember eating some of the meatloaf myself. Yeah. Bro, it was yeah. good as And I'm meatloaf. not even a meatloaf fan. No. Yeah. Yeah. I don't eat meatloaf on a regular basis. Yeah. But Jason's mom had a good fucking meatloaf. Good meatloaf. Dude. Mm-hmm. That's some real like white people food, dude. Oh, That's yeah. some real like. Oh, yeah. OG Caucasian fucking dinner right mm-hmm, there. Mm-hmm. And she had it on lock. <laughs> so you, before you lived in Illinois, you lived out here, actually. You lived in San Diego. I did for a little um, bit. How'd you like that? Was that how, you know, was it different? It was, yeah, it was nice. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I had grown up in Illinois. Yep. Um, only lived out here for like two years. Um Ooh, public school was rough. I mean, yeah. so I pretty much, you know, came here on a mission, uh, ended up getting a couple kids hooked on chewing tobacco, which was my thing at the <laughs> you time. You were telling me about that the other uh, day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then I also, yeah, I was already into LSD. Um, none of the kids, uh, yeah, we're into that. So so your first trip happened before you moved to San Diego, back in Illinois, or did it happen in San Diego? It happened before San Diego. Nice. So when I came to San Diego, I was the only one doing it. Mm-hmm. Um, so I was just tripping by myself out here. Um, yeah, but I ended up, I ended up getting arrested in the middle of uh chemistry class <laughs> Nice for possession of LSD. Was but, that the, um, the time you told me about when they had you in jail for a few days? Uh huh. How'd, how'd that, how'd that play out? Um, I mean, oof, rough. Uh, yeah. Cause I got arrested with two other guys that day and they didn't want to put the three of us in the same unit. So they each put us, they had three units. So Mm -hmm. I got, you know, A, next guy got B, the next guy got C or whatever. Unfortunately, Mm -hmm. my unit, the night before I got there, they had thrown a riot and tried to do like a big jailbreak. (laughs) So my unit was on lockdown. Okay. So there was no talking allowed. Um, Anytime you had to walk around, you had to walk around with your hands like this with your Mm -hmm. thumbs exposed. Like it's cold, okay. Right, so, but your thumbs showing so they know you're not (laughs) holding anything, whatever. Uh, yeah, anytime you're 
getting into any room. You had to wait with your you know nose up against a wall while they unlocked the door for you. That's yep. crazy. Yep. yep. So you had a, a shitty little time in jail for the time you were there. Yeah, it was that was not a good time. And how long were you there again? Uh, six days. Six days. <laughs> yeah. How's the food? Shitty. Shitty. <laughs> it's, is jail had, food really as bad as they say? Yeah. Yeah. Way worse uh, in Illinois. Yeah. Like what kind of a uh, what kind of stuff were they making you? What was like the highlight of the jail food? I remember. Oh well, the highlight we did actually have a, a cup of ice cream. Oh uh, yeah, one day we were being good. They hooked it up. With that the ice probably cream. hit. Yeah, you know when fuck. when you eat with like those little like flat wooden. Yeah, the, the ones yep. they gave you in like elementary yep. school. Yep. yep. So that was the highlight. But yeah, I remember I had my first pear in in juvie. Bro, yeah. you could have taken that little flat spoon and sharpened it and had a little shank. <laughs> Stuck some people, dude. Nah, it wasn't yourself. like that. There was no uh, no violence in the jail or anything. You were, you were. I mean, since you were there for a short time, you were probably yeah. in like a low security kind of thing, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. That that was a low security. So, did you have your own cell or like? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because uh, I think in juvie you just get your own cell. I don't think uh, there's any roommates in there. Uh, oh yeah, this happened when you were still a minor. Yeah. yeah. Um. But yeah, I remember one time in the shower because uh, we only got two minute showers, right? Oh my, what the fuck? Yeah, they would give you a rag. They would put a bunch of hand soap on the rag and then they'd make you put the rag on your hair, you know, and, and then you'd have to walk into the shower like this. What the fuck? They'd time you, you got two minutes and then you had to go back to your cell. One time the dude next to me, they're like, two minutes is up, time to go back to your cell. He's like, no, fuck you. And they just pepper sprayed him down right next to me. I'm like, <laughs> holy shit. So <laughs> how hard did they get him? Did they like really get in there? Yeah, they dude? got him. I, well, I mean, no, they didn't like like angle for it. But okay. Yeah, just over the They got his ass yeah, good. They, though. You know, over the stall like Damn. door. They just <laughs> Yeah, got his ass. And he's just in there, you know, howling. I'm just what, what? the fuck? Hey, I'm glad you didn't get pepper yeah. sprayed down. I'm glad yeah, you no, followed the rules. Good. Yeah, I followed the rules. Now I think it's time for us to smoke a little bit of weed. And today we have some very fun stuff to smoke. Obviously, A, we got the base smokes, baby. Check them out. Ship to your door type shit. But B, we have some weed that we gotta decide what to call it. This is dropping December 1st for those of you guys out here in California, so get ready. Those of you guys, we have a Christmas gift coming in for you. I'm St. Nicholas, and this is my gift, right? So we gotta check this out and come up with a little name for it, Kyle, you know? Whatever vibes you're getting out of this jar, you know, anything that comes to mind, let me know, you know, get a whiff, get a look. Mm -hmm. I've mm -hmm. already seen this weed, and it's beautiful. It's, it's sexual. Yeah, this this has some mm -hmm. nice color to it. Pull a nug out, yeah, take yeah. a gander. Yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. this is uh, just one of the few strains that we're dropping on December 1st. Uh, for those of you guys here in California, like I said, buckle up, get ready. In my honest opinion, this is probably the best weed nice. we've ever dropped. You know, this shit is smoking. We've been chiefing on this for a few weeks here at the studio, and it gets you baked. It gets you real baked. Uh, you got a grinder over there, yeah? I do. Nice. Yeah, let's get to it. Let's get to it. So we've covered the acid, we've covered the crack, but those really aren't the only things that you've done, you know? What's like some of the other drugs that you really got into in your heyday? Blocaine. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I knew that one was coming up. Yeah, we had a, you know, a lot of people watching this have probably seen my Coke Chronicle series. And even if not, you're probably fully aware of my former uh, cocaine addiction. This guy, Right here, this gentleman, Kyle, um, was was definitely a part of that, you know? He was definitely there for pretty much all of it. We had a... Summer 2019 was quite the rager, huh? Mm -hmm. That was... Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the cocaine, you know, when did you get started with that? Um, I think about the same time you did, really. Really? I think like I... Like first time you tried it? Because I, I feel no, like... No, I had tried it before. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, I, I had tried it before. I think your first time was on accident, yeah? Yeah, at Cody's yeah. house. Yeah. Yep. Um, you were there for that. I was. Oh, my yep. God. Yeah. Me, you, and Michaela, bro. And we blamed it on Michaela, and then she got banned from the trap? Yeah. Oh, my. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was, oh, we'll talk about but that But it wasn't our fault. It wasn't our fault. It really wasn't. Yeah. No, it was none of our fault. It faults. was given to us. Someone had to be the scapegoat, yeah. though. Yeah. And it wasn't going to be us. Yeah. You know? Um, but so your first time trying it, do you remember that one? I don't, honestly. I don't remember my first I time I feel you. Coke's like a no. spontaneous thing. Yeah. You know, it just kind of happens. Yeah. And it wasn't like, it wasn't, I wasn't really hooked on it or anything. Yep. I didn't purchase it myself beforehand or anything. Yep. 
um, it just been given to me at a party or something. Yeah. We didn't really get into Coke until that summer of 2019 is when we really got like right. into doing it. Cause when we were younger, we always had access to it. You know, Ashton was big into Coke. Mm -hmm. We just never got as into it because a, we didn't have the money for that shit. Right. That shit was expensive. Yeah. yeah. And B, I feel like there was just other drugs that got us more fucked up. I feel like cocaine right. is more of like a, almost an adult drug. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Not a lot of bang for your buck. And that's no. what we were looking for at the time. Yep. A hundred percent. Yeah. But I, I just remember when we used to go, we'd throw in on bags together. And like at first, I, dude, I felt like El Chapo buying an eight ball. I yeah. was like, holy shit. Yeah. This is motion, bro. Like, look, there's a rock in here. Like, <laughs> it's not just a bag of powder, bro. We're, we got the plug. <laughs> so that first time that I did it, you were there for that one. That was one hell of a night. That was. You remember that yeah, pretty well? Because I, I sure that. do. We were trying to race Michaela's car. Yeah, we thought yeah. that we were faster than a car. Like, actually, yeah, on we foot. thought we could on outrun foot. the car. Mm -hmm. uh, we um. So we had gone over to my friend Cody's house, and we were chilling there. And originally... He was. He offered us some lines of what he thought was Xanax. Now, Xanax is not something you normally snort. It's not really very water soluble. But you have to realize we were like 16 and brain dead, so we didn't factor in any of those things. We just thought, we were just like the yeah. drug can be a powder, so we can put it up our nose. Well, and anything like, <laughs> we just thought snorting shit was cool. Yeah, at we the thought time. snorting shit was awesome. So. Like if we could get it in our nose, we were gonna try it. Right. You remember the time I tried to pour the Adderall XR capsule down my nose in the we locker room? We did that all the time. <laughs> we, we like almost. <laughs> exclusively snorted our Adderall. That didn't even we make sense. Little, so for those of you guys yeah. who don't know, the Adderall XRs, they inside of the capsules, there's like little beads. It's not, you, you can't make it a powder or anything. So we would crack them open and just pour the beads on our nose and be like, they'll dissolve eventually, you know? I XR, remember, baby. <laughs> I remember one time in math class, right after our gym class where we would snort the Adderalls together, yep. I went in and I was like doing these like logarithms. Uh, I had never <laughs> seen them before, them, but I dude. corrected the teacher and she was pregnant. She dude, was like, only, you want to just teach this? Bro, the only time I'd raise my hand in math class was off Adderall, I yep. swear to God. <laughs> and so I'm like teaching this lesson for the for the pregnant teacher and I sneezed uh -huh. and pink shit got oh. everywhere. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty embarrassing, but did, did, the did jig was up. Every, well, everybody knew, that, you know. My snot was not naturally pink. So <laughs> you could bro, you could have played like a sob story, made a GoFundMe. You could have been like, sorry, that's my stage three cancer. Nah, I just like, kind of my Kind of just uh, exited stage to the bathroom. I was mm. just, you know, I, I'm a just escape. <laughs> yeah. Just escape. Separate yourself. I'll be back. <laughs> yeah. After so this short break. <laughs> that first time that I did Coke, we went over to Cody's house and he was gonna give us a line of what was supposed to be Xanax. You know, don't snort Xanax, it's stupid, right? We didn't care though. So we go in to do these lines and you and me each did like a, I don't remember if it was like one really fat one or if it was like two, but I remember we did it like good amount, you know, it was a good yeah. amount of powder there, yeah. which is also why we thought it was Xanax. Cause it's like when you crush up like a ladder or a bus or something like that, it's a lot of powder. It's a lot, a lot. Mm -hmm. So nothing unusual. It was white powder. We just thought it was, you know, crushed up ladder. Um, so we each did the lines and we did them like rapid succession. No time for like either of us to really tell the other, like, Oh, that didn't, Right. Seem normal. Yeah. Um, and we did them right before we were about to leave Cody's house. So we literally did these lines, dapped him up and just got in Michaela's car and left. Yep. And I remember we're driving through the neighborhood. And do you remember what we said to each other? No, I don't. Because I remember no, I was I like, I said to you, I was like, oh, I, yeah. Like, this doesn't feel like right. Zan. Yeah, we were just <laughs> like, that's not Zan. And you, yeah, you were like, yeah. I'm fucking lit. Like, yeah, I was like, I think I felt this one other time before. <laughs> I think that was cocaine. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And um, we called Cody and Cody was like freaking out. He was like, fuck. Because him and his brother would store their drugs the same way in notebook paper. Yep. And yep. Cody's brother had some blow stored in some notebook paper. Right. And he went and looked and the, the stuff that he had left was the Zans and the Coke is what he'd just given us. Yeah. So we had to come up because he didn't want to tell his brother because his brother, listen, his brother was kind of scary, bro. Like I wouldn't want to tell him either nope. if I was him, you know? So mm -hmm. um, we had to cook up a method and we were like, Michaela, you mm -hmm. know, just say Michaela took it. You know, mm -hmm. it's it's an L for her, but that's okay. Yeah. We come over here more than her. Yeah. It's just business. Yeah. So we, we told him, we told his brother, we were like, yeah, dude, I think, uh, I think Michaela might have snatched that shit. You know, if I ever see her again, we'll, 
fucking get it back. You know? yeah. She was she was banned from the trap for a while. Yeah. For yeah, forever, we really. Her, like, I just yeah. haven't seen her since. Meanwhile, she was Ashton's girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like her best friend's girlfriend. She would like drop us off. Yeah, yeah she'd give us a ride. Yeah. yeah, she'd drop us off there. We'd yeah. be like, yeah, you can't come in. Yeah. Like, it's just trap yeah. rules. You know, yeah. we never explained her trap why. Rules, yeah. Just trap rules. Like, you yeah. know, you can't come in, dude. Yeah, she had no idea why she was locked. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, dude. Yeah, the cocaine arrow was fun. Um, you never really got big into shrooms, did you? No, not really. Mm -mm. See, I feel like you should revisit it because mm. I, when I was younger, I, I wasn't really big into shrooms either. But recently I've started taking shrooms and I find them really nice. And I've started like not really liking or feeling the urge to take acid, uh -huh. not really like feeling the appeal of it because shrooms are just like a more chill, manageable trip. You mm -hmm. know, um, maybe we should take some shrooms together soon. Maybe. It's like a light dose. I'd I'd be down to try like maybe micro dosing someday. Micro dosing is a vibe. Micro dosing's yeah. chill. I think I, the I got tripping is, crib, is in my past. I don't know. You said what? I think the tripping is tripping is behind me now. I feel you. I just think shroom trips are like. I mean, you can you can take a light dose and only trip for like four hours, you know. And it's you're not like acid tripping. We're like, dude, the walls moving. You know, right. like you can yeah. just kind of vibe. It's more of like an emotional, oh. What do we got well, here? Well, Kyle, you said you wanted to try microdosing, right? <laughs> We've got some uh, some shrooms right here. Would you like to try? <laughs> nah, not right now. Okay, all too. right. I, I can't make you do anything. I can just encourage. But we do have some, some uh, beautiful, beautiful shrooms. Right <laughs> wow. So we've talked about most of the drug stuff, but let's talk a little more about your work. Because you run a movie theater, and that's, you know, that's got to be... That's got to be a tough job. That's got to be a lot. What's like a, a day of doing that for a living like? Um, I mean, it's chill, man. I just, uh, I do, uh, I make playlists, um, you know, program the lights, to turn on and off, mm -hmm. uh, tell the sound what volume to be on the screen, you know, sometimes it needs to be wider for certain yep. movies or whatever. That's pretty much it. But you like um, grinded to get to the point where you can chill, you know? I did. Yeah. I started, yeah, I started at the Worked minimum way wage yep. position. Uh, actually, yeah, because I was, uh, I think I got the job to like, basically with the intentions of using it to fund the cocaine experience. Yeah, I, I remember you got, you started working at AMC specifically just for like drug money. Yeah. Like, you were just like, yeah. I don't have enough money for this shit. Mm -hmm. So you got the job at AMC and it worked out great. Now it's like yep. your career. You yeah, know, it went, yep, yep. It's fucking good. So, you know, running the movie theater Obviously, you get to see movies early and stuff. Mm -hmm. Do you watch like all the movies early or only like certain ones or not all of them, but um, the like the bigger like blockbuster releases, like shit like, you know, mm -hmm. Expendables 4, for example. Yep. Like I watched that, you know, the night before it came out, I just put it on after, you know, my shift ended after everybody was gone from the theater. I just put it on in, yep. you know, the nice auditorium by Fuck myself, yeah. watch that movie. Uh, yeah, free yeah. private theater is a crazy perk. Yeah, that's yeah, a crazy yeah. perk. Yeah, it's pretty that's cool. That's wild. Let's smoke a little bit of this, uh, this Mary One now. Let's do it. Let's get to it. Um, yeah, I remember we've seen a few movies early together in those like employee viewings. You know, that's like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. dude, I'm telling you guys right now, link up with an AMC homie, bro. <laughs> Fucking this guy right here is so clutch for movies, dude. For real. <laughs> yeah, you hit this one. I think this is actually not even the stuff in the jar. I think this was a packed bowl of the other stuff still. But we'll smoke a bowl of that too. I was about to say, I was like, this tastes familiar. I know what that flavor is. <laughs> oh my God. So you see a lot of movies, you know, but you also tell me about the people you have to kick out all the time. Oh, Do yeah. you have like one incident that you would say is like the craziest, or like the most memorable like time you had to throw someone out? Well, not since I, I mean, okay, the the craziest one for me mm -hmm. didn't happen while I was manager. This happened while I was still uh, just, you know, the minimum wage uh, employee. Can I see that bull poker you have? Oh, yeah. Thank there you, you go, brother. Um, yeah, no, I was, uh, this was during like COVID where we had these like real thorough cleaning protocols and mm -hmm. all that. And so I'm going around cleaning theaters, you know, we had to spray each seat with sanitizer and, you know, shit like that. Um, we had to close off one side. So we have two bathrooms 
uh, a bathroom on either side of the <clears throat> building because we have a yep. you know fairly large building. Yep. Um, so I feel we like bl- I know the layout of off. theater so well. Yeah, <laughs> it's well, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's a straight line. It is, yeah, you know? it's um, pretty easy. So you know, we close off one side of the bathrooms earlier mm-hmm. um, to cl- start cleaning it, and then you know, open that one up, close the other one, clean that one. The reason we do that is because most of the employees were, you know, generally in high school, they have to be up for school in the morning. Um, But we had this Karen, she was like, you know, 80 years old. She was with her husband. She comes up to me. She's like, my husband has to pee. Open this bathroom. I'm like, this bathroom's closed for cleaning. Uh You got to walk down to the other bathroom. She's like, that's ridiculous. If you don't open this bathroom, he's going to pee right here. (laughs) And I wanted to call her bluff because I was like, Ain't no way some 85-year-old man is going to just listen to his wife and just piss his pants on, command, on the spot. Like a dog. No <laughs> shot. No shot. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, no. <laughs> okay. You got to walk to the other side. Okay. So she turns around, pulls the lid off of a garbage can in front of an no auditorium shot. that still has a movie playing and people inside watching no it. No shot. And she just has her husband walk up to the garbage can and piss in the garbage can and i'm just like you just watched nah i was just like whatever man i'm i'm gonna walk away yeah yeah i I just went and cleaned another auditorium you can't stop him mid piss but like also after the piss like what do you even do like the deed's already like done yeah now see that's where it was that fire was, that I was not a man. I'm not gonna yet. lie. That's actually super alpha of that guy. That's actually I guess incredibly yeah. like no disrespect to you. You you did the alpha thing by <laughs> also like just fold like calling his bluff. But like the fact that he was just like okay and right. just pulled his cock out in the yep. theater like during business hours and just uh-huh. pissed in the garbage uh-huh. is pretty. I mean, yeah. If anybody wow. If anybody in that movie was going to get up to go to the bathroom, they were going to get an eyeful and get greeted by an eighty-five-year-old yeah. man's nuts. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Yeah. What movie was playing? Was it like a kids movie? I don't movie? remember. This was, this was quite a while ago. <laughs> Bro, but, imagine it was like it was like Paw Patrol. <laughs> that would be so funny. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, I don't remember what movie it was. Oh my god. Oh, oh, dude. I, I don't think you've told me that story, bro. Oh, yeah. Well, I yeah. don't think you've told me that. I feel like yeah. you've told me a lot of good ones, but I've never <laughs> heard that one. And that that's a banger one, dude. <laughs> I remember when we were in high school, you almost like spontaneously just like stopped doing drugs briefly. I did. You did. Yeah. And then I feel like the Coke binge that we had was kind of the last time you really did any hard drugs. Mm-hmm. Was there like a certain moment for you where you realized like, oh, I don't want to do drugs anymore? Like a certain moment where you decided like you just wanted to only smoke weed? Yeah, I I feel like I it was kind of like all like kind of building up, mm-hmm. but then there was one kind of decisive acid trip, I guess, mm-hmm. where I was I feel just that. like I had this long trip that I just kind of sat there and thought about things, mm-hmm. and it wasn't necessarily a bad trip. It wasn't like yeah, I wouldn't it was call just it like a bad a, trip, like but it was like a more like a, right, it put things more in perspective and mm-hmm. I was kind of thinking like, what you know, like this is like, I felt like the consequences and the, and the, you know, downsides of doing harder drugs just outweighed the, the benefits, you know. I feel that. So. I feel that heavily, actually. Yeah. So I, yeah, basically since that trip, I've just stuck to weed. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. So. I guess it was really just an acid trip that did it for you, huh? I guess, yeah. I mean, you'd be kind of considering it, but the acid trip just kind of pushed you to that point. Right. Because I I feel that. I feel like a lot of the times, like, psychedelic trips can definitely give you, like, a mindset change Mm -hmm. that you can't normally get by just, like, thinking. Right. You know, like, you can't just, like, think about, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. Yeah. And just not do it. But there's something about, like, psychedelics that can literally just, like, fucking rewire your brain a little bit, Mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And it's interesting. I feel like there needs to be, like, more research on that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. All right. I got another good one. Hey, we, we've all had some, you know, some moments where we've been like, oh shit, you know, I overdid it. I should have mixed like these drugs or whatever. Have you ever had a moment where you mix like a couple drugs together and it was terrible? Like you were like, fuck, I'm never going to mix these again. Uh, 
Not, I mean, nothing in particular that stands out to me. I, I was pretty smart about not like mixing uppers and downers yeah, and shit like that. That's good. A know? lot of people are stupid about that. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah, it's a bad idea. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean, I would say like the one thing that always kind of came like bit me in the ass at the end of the night was like smoking and drinking together. Like if mm. I if I was drinking hard and I was smoking hard at the same time, I always ended up puking a ton. It, I feel that. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah. You almost get like nauseous. As, like you just get like sick. Yeah. A bit. Yeah. I feel that. So that's that's like a kind of chill one. You don't have any like harder drug ones that you necessarily like mix, and you were like, oh fuck. I mean. Did you do you enjoy all the mixes you did? Like you I were strategic enjoyed about all, it. <laughs> I was pretty strategic about it. Yeah, yeah okay. I had a good time. No, I feel you. Yeah, I, I definitely feel that. I kind of remember, like when we were younger. I feel like you were a lot more there was selective with the things you would mix. There was one that I would really probably overdo, mm -hmm. uh, like the the candy flip. Yeah, yeah, I only ever candy flip once. Ah, I would go hard with that. You loved candy flip. I did, and I shoot. Yeah, it was not good, bro. Remember when that we were at a Cody's house and you were like fucking tweaking right. out? That was a big red flag Dude. for me when he, when Cody's brother Cody's offered, brother was like call the ambulance. He, he wanted like, to take okay? me to the hospital, and I was like, hmm, <laughs> Dude, I should maybe reconsider things. Your jaw was things. like twitching. Yeah. Both your eyes were like lazy. You yep. were cash. Yeah, I had. Oh my god. I had never seen someone so visibly like tripping dick mm -hmm. in my life. Mm -hmm. Like you were textbook tripping sack that day. Yeah. Yeah. That was you you really went hard. Now, if you could pick one genre of a film mm. to describe your your life post sobriety, you know, your life nowadays, what would you what would you pick? I mean probably just a comedy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I feel like, dude, there would be a fire ass like office style show about Yeah, like, like, like it's what funny you do. as shit. Some of the complaints I deal with are just hilarious. Yeah. What's like what's like some good ones that you get a lot? I don't know. I mean, I can't think of anything really off the top of my mm -hmm. head, I guess, but like, you know, just I live in a very gentrified area. Yes. And the complaints yes. are like Eh, Such know, like, like like menial shit. Right. Such it'll be like shit. the theater's too cold. And I'm like, well, <laughs> you're in a public place, you know? My like seat is itchy. <laughs> right. <laughs> so it doesn't really cater to one person. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know how it is where, where you work and the area we grew up. And yeah, you know, we we definitely didn't grow up in a bad area. Um yeah. at least going to high school. Um yeah, a lot of a lot of stuck up people there. Mm -hmm. A lot of stuck mm -hmm. up people there. Wow. Hey. Let's wrap it up with one, you know, real, real banger question. Then we're going to get to some other fun stuff here. If you had to choose one of our like, like crazy things we did together when we were younger to relive, like one to redo, what would it be? Hmm. That's a tough one, bro. Cause we, we got a lot of bangers, dude. There's some ketamine evenings that are up there for sure. The Honestly, and and shit. maybe like. I mean, just like if I could just watch like from like a third person. No, I'm talking like like relive it. Like go back and like relive that moment exactly how it was, you know? Hmm. I guess I would say probably like your first acid trip was really that fun. That shit was, that was lit. really yeah, fun. That was really fun, dude. Yeah. We were raging at Jason's house, yeah. dude. Was that the one where we were watching King of the Hill and we invited a bunch of people over? Or was that the second show? No, trip? no. We didn't invite a bunch of people over. That was that was the one where you were like, fuck technology. And you oh, threw and your I threw phone my phone at the, at the rock? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, dude, yep. I, yeah, I broke my phone that night. Yep, and you ended up just walking home. Like It took forever to yeah, walk home because yeah. I was like dazed. Because your mom called. She's like, you can't sleep over. And I was just like... <laughs> Yeah, got to like. <laughs> I was like, nah, my mom's already yeah, mad. Yeah, because I was me, supposed like. to be like your trip guide, and in my mind, like the number one thing is you probably don't want to well, be in here's, front of your so parents. That night, bro, <laughs> so I was tripping on acid that night, and my mom called me and told me I couldn't spend the night over. And then my ex was texting me at the same time, oh, yeah. talking oh, stupid. Yeah. And I was like, wow, the phone is the source of these problems. Yep. yep. Like if I just fucking get rid of the phone, I don't have these problems anymore. Mm -hmm. So I just chucked my phone at the rock right outside of Jason's house. And like destroyed it. Yeah. Fucked it. Yeah. Um, but it was cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I was running the trap phone for a while, uh -huh. but whatever. Uh -huh. What are you going to do? I mean, fuck it, dude. <laughs> I did what I had to do. Let's see what we got here. Ooh. Ooh. All right. 
we're going to play a quick game, like instant, like bang, bang, bang type shit. Mm -hmm. I feel like we need another bong rip and to talk a little more about the name of this weed before we get into this, you can warm up. Don't look at the screen. I don't want you to even think. Okay. You know, just get high. Because the high response to this is the best one. You need a grinder or anything? No, nah, I'm good. On, I'm good on the bong rip for right now. I'm I, I'm already fried. Oh yeah, perfect for the game. Perfect for the Wait, game. Wait, there's still green in here. Hold on. Wait, that almost cash green. Um. Okay. All right. First word that comes to your mind. Mm. Are you ready? Yes. Shrooms. Oh. Uh. Weed. <laughs> what word? Weed. Weed. Okay. Crack. Hospital. Hospital. <laughs> Sports. Cool. Casino. Bad idea. <laughs> Why? Why is that? Why is that? I don't I think that's just I support a, gambling. Oh uh, man, I think it's a financial dis- mistake. <laughs> <laughs> not if you win. I don't know. There's not if you're a winner, Kyle. See, if I only you, really like gambling on I do like gambling on sports, actually. Yeah, sports betting I do is like, fire. Yeah, dude. sports betting. Sports betting is fire, dude. Call Specifically Lono. with like UFC. Yeah, yeah dude. Yeah. Ooh, UFC love betting is hype. That. Love that. Drink some liquor, watch the fight. I can punch each other. You got money on it. Fun fact: I've never won sports betting outside of the UFC. Uh, dude, I have lost every I, bet. I swear in the to NFL. God, same. I never <laughs> win anything else. UFC, the John Jones submission yeah. was like a huge win because I bet submission. I mm-hmm. won big, and that was mm-hmm. like my last big one. But every time I do like a football like parlay or anything like yep. that, I yep. never hit, bro. I never hit. Yeah. All right. Vegas. Hookers. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Nightclub. Haram. <laughs> <laughs> Brownies. Pot. Netflix. Chill. <laughs> <laughs> Vaporizer. Weed. Bong. Weed. <laughs> All right. Okay. No, I like that. Okay. All right. Now, the next segment, you can look at the screen now. We got to watch some clips together. Mm. Now, this is my favorite part of the podcast, in my personal opinion. You know, I mean, you guys are watching might have a different take, but honest to God, I think this is the part I'm most excited for here. Rate the tweaker moment. Mm. So, we're going to decide who's the most powerful of these tweakers. You know, mm-hmm. like who is the strongest of these tweakers. And we have some clips here to watch together, Kyle. All right. All right, let's take a look. I feel right. Mm-hmm. How do you feel? Super high. Super <laughs> high. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, so let's watch this. Here we go. My tweaker neighbor. Let's see this. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Damn, that's power, bro. She's using like the force or some shit. She's using like invisible black magic. Yeah, that was like Tai Chi. That's invisible black magic. That was almost Tai Chi. It was like Tweak or Tai Chi. Fuck, dude. That was powerful. Okay. Okay. Oh, I feel like I've seen this dude. Where have I seen this guy? What did you say? What did you say? Oh. Oh, he's a 27 time champion. No, respect his shit, bro. (laughs) (laughs) He's hype as hell. He said, yeah. Yep, that's what he wanted. He's hype as hell. What? Oh, he was in the middle. I thought he was like in a parking lot, bro. He was just in the middle of the fucking road. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mm -hmm. wait a second. Because he was powerful, bro. He was a 27-time champion for the New York Yankees. He said to himself. No. Look, (laughs) did you see his physique, bro? That motherfucker was jacked. He was jacked. That dude was jacked. I believe it. He was a 27-time champion. Mm -hmm. That's Is that more powerful than the Black Magic in the first one? Yeah. Okay, so right yeah, now, twenty seven time champion. Yeah, the lead, yeah. the most powerful so far, is the twenty seven time champion. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. all right, let's continue. Yeah. Hey, Eric, cool rock star, the train, 
There we go. What the hell? <laughs> the fit's kind of tough. It gives me like Kanye vibes. <laughs> the the physique there, the position. That's well, a weak tweaker. I don't think that's very powerful. He's no, susceptible to damage. There. But but he's, he's him in the bold back. because see the other tweaker was outdoors with his shirt off. This guy's indoors with his shirt off. But I, I think okay, that, but I think that's worth something, you know? I guess true, okay. A powerful a powerful one knows no boundaries. So I think I'd put this guy in second place. I disagree. You you think I think he's black behind magic tai would destroy chi? this guy. I think the black magic chick would destroy this guy. Okay. hundred percent she would cast some sort of spell upon him. I don't know. Maybe she already has. Maybe that's why he's like this. It looks like he's got a hidden ability, though. He didn't display it here, though. No, he didn't. You can't profile no, like that. You can't make assumptions. You have to, Okay. you know, it's just these abilities displayed here were not mm -hmm. very powerful. Mm -hmm. This is a weak stance. <laughs> I'd say this is last place. But if you think it's second, that's okay. But we both agree it's not first, right? Yeah. yeah no, that's the most important for sure part. We both first. agree that's a for weak, sure not weak first. individual. Yes. 27 time champ is a big deal. Yeah, 27 time that's, champ is huge. That's, that's, that's crazy. Oh. This. Okay. okay. Mm. Um, but do you think they watch what we do on a daily basis? Damn. He's not even bad. That's the crazy part. Like he's a decent singer. He's hitting it, bro. <laughs> this guy should be on stage. <laughs> nah, okay. Is that power, though? No. I'm not sure if he would, no. like, in combat, I'm not sure how he would fare. Mm -mm. I don't know. But maybe he could just, like, seduce them. Maybe that, you know? Seduction? That song is good. Okay. I mean, you know, he right. really, he hit that shit, bro. I feel like. He had a dance, too. That was that was more powerful than the last guy. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah. That's yeah, more yeah. power. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But is that more power than the Black Magic? No. Okay. But wait, we have to talk about the black magic though, because did we see a spell being cast? Perhaps, did we see the but we didn't see the result. True. We didn't see the, True. the result. Yeah, we didn't see the you result. Know? You're right. Yep. Okay. Oh, this. Oh, this, this looks powerful. That was short and sweet. Is but all right. The car probably doesn't belong to him, right? Or does it? He no. There's no way. No way. Well, okay, maybe though, because tweakers don't necessarily have to be homeless. That's just a tweaker. But that's a nice truck. Like I feel like, is it though? No, maybe it just has an, a front end. I think different. there's Actually, a certain level. I don't of, think it's like there's a certain level of tweaked out that you that you don't have possessions like that. Listen, bro, so. go to West Virginia and you can find hella tweakers. Like, like you can't, uh -huh. you can't. I've watched a documentary on it, dude. Those trucks are very expensive though, man. I don't think so. I think. I don't know though, because look, it just looks like it has a custom front end. I don't think that's like a super new model. That's okay. Trucks are expensive. But not like old ones. No, no. It's, it's like, like, yeah, well, trucks, nowadays, door. especially new trucks are crazy tax. Yeah. yeah. New trucks are new trucks are stupid expensive. But I feel like this is like an old this, one. With the this is front. a four door, though, though. Those are mm. those are the nicer ones. It's like a long. Uh, what do they call them? Mm -hmm. like long, long cab cabin or something. Something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. OK, you're right. That, so, OK, mm -hmm. so that's an expensive truck because mm -hmm. it is a four door. You're right. Damn, this elevates him to very powerful because if he has this truck, he has money. He has income. So he might be trapping. He might be rapping. We don't know. I mean, bro, he's all <laughs> up against it. There's no one in it that I can see. I think it's his truck. I think it's his <laughs> truck, bro. I don't know, man. I, I mean. I'm not so convinced. I think he he has the, the ability to the steal truck. cars, perhaps. Maybe it's stolen, but it's it's his. Even if it's stolen, For it's For the his. moment. 
Yeah, for the moment. Yeah. In this moment, it's mm -hmm. his. Mm -hmm. That's power. Mm. Black magic could not stop this no, truck. No, that, that chumps black magic does it. He could just run that motherfucker over. 27 times champion, though. Ooh, 27 times 27 champion. 27 times champion. Do, something, right. though. do you think 27 time champ could like put a stop to this guy in the truck? No. He was swole. Honestly, that guy was like, jacked. If he is in the truck, no. Okay. I think the truck wins. He's going to wow. have to get him so out of the truck. So is this number one? Is this the most this powerful? This could be the most powerful tweaker. Oh, my fucking God. Dude, I think we found it. I think we found the most the most powerful. Yeah, if Holy we're going to let, shit. if we're going to allow tools in combat and we're going to qualify the truck as a tool. Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. Wow. The most powerful. Hey. All you guys watching out there, if you guys have any, uh, you know, powerful individuals, powerful tweakers, powerful crackheads that we should take a look at that are more powerful than this, let us know in the comments below. You know, where, where's the, the highest power level located at? You know, mm -hmm. who knows? There, there could be very powerful individuals in all parts of the world. Mm -hmm. We need to see that, you mm -hmm. know? Have you ever seen the video of uh, Crackhead Throwing Olympics? No. Oh, my God. Josefa, are you able to pull that up? Crackhead throwing Olympics. Oh my God, dude. There's no, this is a classic. It's on YouTube. At least I hope it's still on there. What? Throwing Olympics. <laughs> throwing. T H R O. Yes, 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 yes. Top one. <laughs> this shit is so good. Watch this. This is elite power. <laughs> 12 feet, 9 inches. 12 feet, 9 inch toss. Oh, here we go. <laughs> 23 feet 9 inches that is elite power that guy is top power level. wow that dude at the end right there that won the throwing competition is wow. probably the most powerful i don't know if he's a crackhead though i think he was just a very powerful man but the crackhead they threw was also powerful for taking those yeah you know yeah like, wow. he just had two swole ass dudes pick him up and just chuck him <laughs> as hard as they could. <laughs> it's very I, resilient. I can't believe you've yeah. never seen that, bro. That's no. one of my favorite YouTube videos ever. Uh, I love that shit. All right. Hey, we have some Twitter questions. Uh, I asked you guys on Twitter some to ask me some questions, you know, ask me anything to ask my younger self. So we can discuss these as well. Um, but let's see what they are first. So Brady 3000 says, if you could go back and change your actions on one specific day during your teenage years, what day would you choose and how would it impact the rest of your life going forward? Damn, that's interesting. <coughs> I would say the during my teenage years, the day that I... Uh, oh, what just happened? The day that I dropped acid uh, at Cody's and I ended up going to the hospital that night and then I went to rehab. Mm. I think if I went back that day and I just didn't drop acid, I feel mm -hmm. like a lot of things would be different. Yeah. Like very different. Because I had to drop, like, I uh, I went to rehab and shit, you know, and I, I was like on probation. I was in there for like two months and I got out and like, I think things would be different because if I didn't go to rehab, honestly, like, I don't know. Well, no, maybe it was a good thing, actually, because I would have violated the shit out of probation. Mm. <coughs> mm -hmm. I would have. Damn. But then the jail series would have been a thing. <laughs> so would it have been bad? I don't I don't know. I, I would say that day, though. Do you have one specific day that maybe you would change? I mean, it. Yeah, probably just not taking acid when I smoked crack, really. Oh, okay. That was probably, yeah, not a good yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. decision. That's uh Yeah. Yeah. That that was a questionable choice. Yeah. Yep. Crack into the acid is crazy. Yeah. But that was a fun night though, bro. I mean, I don't I wouldn't change that. 
<laughs> like people ask me all the time, like, do you regret smoking crack now? No, nah, yeah, no, that shit was fire, dude. Yeah. I, I, I'm glad I know what that feels like. That's like a life experience, you know. And I'm well, glad I did it once, you know. Right, and we only did it once. We only did it yeah. once, yeah, yeah. You know, it was it was like one yeah. and done. You know, yeah. I smoked crack. I was like, okay, that's whatever. Yep. And it was just on on with that, you mm -hmm. know. Um, the Rizzler asked, "How many fucking Ashleys do you know?" He asked that. Yeah, a lot. A lot. Probably a hundred. Hundred thousand. Hundred thousand. Hundred thousand, maybe. I mean, potentially, potentially a hundred thousand. Liger four twenty. What was an item you would never think about selling, even at your lowest point? Computer. Yeah, computers yeah. up there. Yeah, yeah, computer. Computer definitely. I, I would sell like the PlayStation. I'd sell a TV. And I'd then sell maybe like, like your bed. Tools out the garage. Right. Bro, fuck yeah, dude! I'm taking clothes out my closet and taking them to Plato's closet. Yeah. yeah. Fuck so it, like, we're gone. Yeah, I would say my my computer and my bed. You know. Yeah. <sighs> yep. Yup. Yeah. Those, uh, I, I would sell, yeah, pretty much anything but those two. <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, even the desk could go, bro. I'll just, I'll just put the monitor on the ground and lay mm -hmm. down, bro. Mm -hmm. Like we're fine. Mm -hmm. You know, that's chill. Yeah. Uh, Compa J, do you know selling your dad's TV will set you up for greatness down the road? Um, hmm. I don't think that directly set me up for greatness, but, mm -hmm. um, you know, I think it was a great choice at the time. You know, I got money. And I think it, um, I did what I had to do there, you know? Uh, did you ever sell any of your parents' possessions for like some, no, some money? I did not actually. I sold some of my dad's shit. I never sell my mom's stuff because I liked her, but my dad was an asshole. So I was like, fuck it, bro. I'm trapping. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Cody's girlfriend, I remember Cody's girlfriend was 18 back in the day. And so she could go to the pawn shop for us. Mm -hmm. um, we were all like 17 or 16 or whatever. Um, so she would like take our stuff in and go to the pawn shop and like take the money and shit. Mm -hmm. um, it was great. It was great. Leafs, drug of choice right now. I mean, I feel like I know what both our answers are going to be. What's yours? Uh, weed, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah no I mean, question. obviously weed. Outside of weed, I guess shrooms. You know, shrooms are cool. Um, I like, you know, taking light micro doses. I like tripping too. Mm -hmm. Shroom trips are very chill. I don't really take super like high doses anymore. You know, when I was younger, I feel like I would try to like trip as hard as I could. But as I've gotten older, I feel like I've learned the value of like chill trips, you know, mm -hmm. like you mm -hmm. don't have to eat four grams of shrooms, right. four tabs of ass. And, you know, right. you can eat like two grams of shrooms, gram yeah. and a half, you know, yeah. fucking vibe, you know. Damn, Kyle, I think that's the fucking episode, dude. All right. We kind of just crunched it. We kind of just killed it. Episode zero, bro. I really appreciate you coming on and doing this with me. Um, I think you guys out there watching, I think the people are going to love this one. You Thanks know? for having You've me. You've been in like, oh, I don't even know how many of my videos, like a million. Do you remember back in the day, bro, when uh, we streamed out of the, uh, the Red Roof Inn? Yep. Yeah, yeah, I had my PC yeah. set up and we fucking popped in there and we streamed because I needed to. I was like, dude, we need to go on stream and like, I need I to get like, donation money so we can go go to 7 Eleven and buy food. I had like <laughs> shaved my head right beforehand. Remember <laughs> yeah, that? Yeah, you were bald. They were all calling yeah. you a neo Nazi. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. my God. Yeah. It was so. No, he had shaved his head and they were all like, why does Kyle look like a neo Nazi? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got a lot of boy in the striped pajamas comments too. Dude, yeah. they were on your ass. Yeah, they that were shit. not going oh easy on me. No, they're on no. my ass all the time too, bro. It's yeah. fine. It's just the way the internet is, you know? Yeah. It, uh, that shit was so <laughs> funny, bro. We were in that red roof van, fucking trapping. You would come through like every day because I just lived there for mm -hmm. like two weeks. Mm -hmm. um, and I had, how much we, I had what, like a QP or some shit? And we just like smoked. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. We would just pick up a bunch of beer and, and go bunch of beer, and invite a bunch of people over roof, yeah. and just get drunk and smoke in my hotel room because mm -hmm. they would never like bust you. Yeah. They didn't, didn't give care. a shit. Yeah. Mm -mm. But I've heard it's different now. Really? Yeah. So like I haven't been um, in a while. I haven't either. But apparently, like from what I've been told, um, my mom like has driven past it and like told me some stuff and she was like, yeah, there's cops all in the parking lot and shit now, uh, you know, yeah, like it's, yeah. they try to like hold it down cause it was sketchy, bro. It was it's always sketchy. been it a sketchy, sketchy spot. Dude. Yeah. Like I would try to stay in my room as much as I could. Cause I was like, dude, if I leave my room, like what if someone breaks in this house? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, it's yeah. really sketchy. Oh my God. Those were the days, dude. Holy shit. And then I lived in my, my car for a couple of days, a few times, you know, 
Those were the vibe. Those were the good days. Damn. Well, thank you so much for coming on, Kyle. Thanks for having me. I appreciate me. you, bro. What a fucking banger, my dude. Great episode. Thank you all for watching episode zero of the Gobcast. All the future episodes of this are going to be on the Pine Park YouTube channel. So make sure you go subscribe to that. This first episode is just here on the Goblin channel because that's how we do, you know? We want to just give it to all you guys. But all future ones, go sub to Pine Park, get them to 100K. Let's make it happen. Shout out to Base Smokes. Smoke their marijuana. It's very fire. You can get it delivered straight to your door, and their monthly subscription box gives you the best of everything. Check them out. Link in the comments. Love you guys for watching. See you later. <laughs> what a banger.